at 8 a.m. and every single Thursday at 8. We are lucky enough to get to talk to your LSU head softball coach, Coach Beth Tarina. Uh, coach, what's going on? How are we feeling this Thursday? Uh, have we hit the road to Como yet? No, we are leaving this afternoon. Cool. So we're getting packed up, getting everybody ready. So, um, look, thus far, every time we've done this, uh, it has been an unmarred season, right? Now, obviously, this last weekend, it was a series that had some interesting um, kind of uh, peaks and valleys where a great, you know, a great win in game number one, yet another shutout for this excellent staff and and defense. Uh, And then looking like game number two was in the bag before it ends up slipping away and then in game three falling. So serving the first losses on the season, um, how do you feel your team in the interim dealt with uh, an experience that they had not had to this point? Yeah, it was tough. Definitely wasn't our, you know, how we wanted it to go, how yeah. we drew it up. But, um, I mean, I, I, I talked with some of the leadership and some of the older kids. Taylor told me, I think we forgot how to lose. <laughs> and I was like, cool, let's forget again. Hmm. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but, I, I mean, I think we played bad on Sunday, and then we got beat on Monday. So we needed to win the Sunday game. And then we were going to get beat at some point. It was inevitable, you know, um, it's too long a season, 56 games to be perfect. So um, the key is just getting back on track and resetting at this point this week. Well, and and, and that's what I wanted to ask you about because, um, you know, in, 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 in football, we always called it uh, one snap and clear, right? Like you don't want to let uh, you, you and, and, and if you expand that into a more macro view, like you never want to let, one disappointment turn into another. And because this is SEC softball, uh, there is no rest for the weary. You can't feel bad for yourself because now you're going on the road to take on a top 15 team in the entire country in Mizzou. Um, what's your process or technique for getting your team to to flush it and move on? Well, we spent a lot of time around the table, the staff trying to decide you know, what our next move was. And honestly, we didn't feel like we were maybe in the best spot even after Saturday night's game. We felt like, you know, we were in a little bit of a slide and maybe needed to do some things different. So we were kind of already having these discussions. So, um, you know, we, we debated the old, do you treat them gentle and have confidence or do you stay tough on them? And we just decided to stay true to our process, keep being tough, keep trying to make them durable, mentally tough. And Mm -hmm. that would pay off in the long run. They're going to have to be tough to win something. So, um, that's kind of the conversation, and that's the direction we went. And I think the team's been up for it the whole way. Coach, what was it on Sunday's game? That, and you said it, you know, obviously didn't go your way, and there was things that you wish you did a little bit better. What were some of those things that you highlighted to try to get better from Sunday's game? Because Monday was a little bit different. But what about Sunday's game? Well, unfortunately, we played such clean defense, you know, throughout, and just it, it's tough to when you're playing a talented team to overcome errors and things like that and then we didn't score enough runs and make some adjustments offensively to you know make up for the for the defense so we we played bad on Sunday we we played bad Mm. um and then like I said Monday they were better they they came out and beat us and I think we did exactly what you just said is we let loss one turn into loss two by trying too hard to make up for it like we wanted to win too badly at that point well, and and coach, there's been a um, there's been a lot of uh, positive stories thus far from an individual perspective, uh, but one of the surprises, kind of outside looking in, has been Carly Petty. Now, I know um, she's been dealing with a bone fracture that kind of uh, slowed her incredibly fast start. Um, and look, she she's great defensively, um, uh, but her at the plate. I mean, you're talking about a career 272 hitter that all of a sudden. Uh, is leading the team with a 450 average. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Look, I'm not saying that's where it's going to end, right? But, 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 how, what do you feel? What were the the elements that led to Petty having such a such a massive leap uh, over an off season? Well, so good to get her back. I mean, I call her the hype woman. She's just like the person you want on defense because she's like constantly like cheering for you and pulling for you and just celebrating all the little things. She's awesome. Um, but I think she's just making better swing decisions. Going out of the zone a lot last year, had some high strikeout numbers, and this year just isn't doing it. Just She just doesn't bite on things out of the zone, just attacking the pitches she wants to attack, and she really is having a great year for us. Um, it's been fun seeing her succeed. 
All right, Coach, obviously you're playing an SEC series, so it's going to be a ranked opponent, and that's going to be Missouri this week and traveling to Como, and it tells you how strong the SEC is. Missouri's only lost six games all year, and four of them have been in the SEC, but kind of an early look at Missouri and what you expect there in Como. Yeah, they have a really talented team. They they have been having a great year, like you said. Um, they have a power arm on the mound, 70-plus miles an hour. Um, I think everybody does at this point. Um, but they also have a really old offense like we do. The top of their lineup is really old. A couple of the best hitters in the conference um, at the top of their lineup. So, as always, I say it every week, but we will have our work cut out for us. We'll have to play our best game, and that's literally every single weekend in the SEC. So. Yeah, and then look, sometimes those challenges can be kind of, um, you know, not not the worst thing, right? Because it doesn't allow you to dwell on the past. Uh, so when 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 you you mentioned um, the defense being so good until it wasn't kind of Sunday uh, coming out of the Ole Miss series, uh, what 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 did you identify as the kind of main uh, areas of self scouting like improvement that you want to see? I think we got a little passive. Um, you know, weren't attacking pitches in the zone the way we needed to. Um, I, we've prided ourselves on being at the top of the country in swing decisions, but we're like swinging at the right pitches, right? So, um, and we felt like we kind of got away from that at times. Um, so I think like we've gone back to that a little bit and just maybe a little reset, worry a little more about ourselves this week and send the opponent mm-hmm. um, and trying to make sure we're doing the things that got us to the spot that we were in when things were going really well. Well, um, that's going to be going down tonight, 5 p.m. LSU. Yeah. At, what, what's that? Tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Oh, it's Don't not. It's, oh my, no, no, tonight. dude. My bad, dude. I keep Don't thinking. Don't make me play again. No, 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 no. You know, my I, bad. I, I got keep... a nice dinner. <laughs> I got some things, you know. I've, so. I've made this mistake, uh, I think, three or four times. I keep thinking it's Friday. I don't know why. I guess I'm just in, like, a really good mood. Because the NCAA tournament said nobody works today. That's, yes. I, maybe that's it. Like, the weekend <laughs> vibes are already here because everybody's going to skip work and watch basketball all day. <laughs> Um, See, I'm like a day. I'm the day the other way because we had the Monday night, so I'm like at Wednesday today. Yeah. So I'm yeah, like that's weird. That is odd. Yes. Uh, so a short week there, right back no to work. Mid, no midweek game, nothing in the middle of the week. So yeah, it's probably a, an odd week for you, Coach. Yes, next week we have a really short week because we have a midweek and then we have the Thursday series. So <laughs> really short. Okay, so excuse me, tomorrow. 5 p.m. Yeah. at Mizzou. Then we got Saturday at 2, Sunday at 1, as uh, this LSU team looks to bounce back. Still 4-2 in the SEC, second in the league right now. Coach Serena, thank you so much. Cannot wait to see what the team does this weekend, and uh, best of luck on the road. Thank you so much. Great to talk with you guys. Absolutely. Always, every week, we thank you.